let's have a look at first order linear differential equations and how to solve them with the integrating factors method. Now this is the general form of a first order linear differential equation dy dx plus p of xy is equal to q of x where p and q are functions in x. I'm looking for an integrating factor and I will call it i of x that has the following property. If I multiply y, my solution that I'm looking for, by i of x, and I take the derivative of this product, I would like this to be q of x times this integrating factor. Now q of x is the, just the right hand side of my differential equation. i of x is this integrating factor that I'm looking for and y is my solution. This is the idea because if we could somehow find this i of x that fulfills this equation then we can solve for y easily because on the left hand side if we take the integral d by dx y i of x dx and also on the right hand side q of x i of x dx then the differentiation and integration cancel each other and what's left on the left hand side is y i of x is equal to well this integral q of x i of x dx and now if we wanted to find y we simply divide both sides by i of x so that means y would be 1 over i of x times this integral over q of x i of x dx. So what we have to do to find y is integrate q of x times i of x and what we get out of that we divide by i of x and that's our solution. So this is how it works. We try to simplify our problem. Now the question remains what is this integrating factor? And as it turns out if we choose i of x as e to the power of the integral over p of x dx where p of x is the function here that we're multiplying y by then this is actually going to work. If our integrating factor is chosen like this let me show you why this works. So what we want is d by dx y times i of x is equal to q of x i of x. That's what I've explained before because that is going to be easy to solve. Now how do we do this and why is this integrating factor going to work? Let's have a look at d by dx of y i of x. And this is the derivative of a product. So we get dy by dx times i of x plus y d by dx i of x. Now that is dy by dx i of x plus y times the derivative of i of x. Now i of x was this up here. So this is the derivative of e to the power of this integral. So it is d by dx of e to the power of the integral over p of x dx So that means dy by dx times i of x plus y times, well, this derivative. And to find the derivative of e raised to the power of this integral, we have to use the chain rule. So we get the derivative of the exponent. So we get d by dx integral p of x dx times I might just use brackets here, times e raised to the power of integral p of x dx because the derivative of e to the u would be e to the u and this integral is u. So we have to multiply by the derivative of u which is the derivative of the integral. Now the derivative of the integral is going to be the function itself again. So we get dy dx i of x plus y times 
P of x times e to this integral, P of x dx. But e raised to the power of this integral is, of course, just I of x. So this is dy dx, I of x, plus y, P of x, I of x. If I now factorize I of x, I will get I of x times dy dx plus y p of x. And if you look at our differential equation up there, that's the left-hand side, which we can replace by the right-hand side. So I of x times q of x, and that's exactly what we wanted. So now we've got this left-hand side is equal to this right-hand side. So if we choose our integrating factor as e to the power of this integral, then this relationship is always going to be fulfilled.